Hi everyone, Chris from Boston Jet Wash here, and I have a blocked turbo nozzle. So, what happens with these a lot of the time is because they're facing down at the ground, you end up getting grit coming back through here. Sometimes your suction hose pulls in a little bit of grit and you get it stuck in the actual um, mechanism of, it, of the rotary nozzle itself. So we're just gonna take it apart real quick and clean it, and this is how to do it. So first things first, you wanna take this plastic sleeving off the turbo nozzle itself and put that to one side. Now you'll see on the edge here, mine's absolutely smashed up, but there is a little flat section on this side and this side, just here. So that's where you want to put your socket set uh, not socket set, sorry, your adjustable wrench or a spanner. I'm just using adjustables and a set of mole grips purely because everybody will have these and these are why I always have in the van. So the first thing we're gonna do is just clamp this down to size on these two flat sections either side and we're gonna get the mole grips and they're exactly the same. There's two flat sections on the brass just here. Turn and then it loosens off. Now obviously mine is extremely loose, purely because to make it easier for me, try to do this on camera, watching it all through a camera. Yours may take a hell of a lot more force. You can heat it up ever so slightly. I probably wouldn't recommend it. You can give it a little squirt of WD-40, but the best thing that I got taught by an old engineer was tighten it first and then loosen it. And you know, that's been how I've got these apart every single time. So now, Unscrew this section where your fitting is. And we have the mini quick release end. And this is the main body of your turbo nozzle. We have a washer. We have the, the actual rotary housing itself. So water comes up inside, hits these that are angled, makes the whole thing spin. And this sits just on the edge, just here. So as you can see, it's slightly off center. So as this spins, that goes round and round and creates a pencil jet straight out the end, but obviously we see it go in a circle. So now that is pretty much all that is inside a turbo nozzle. So all I'm going to do with this to fix it is wash it. So I just have a bowl of warm soapy water here. And I'm going to start with the end. Giving it a damn good rinse round, just making sure that any grit comes off. All it is is warm soapy water. So that's one. We take the washer, always delicate with it. I don't think I need to be, but give it a little rinse off. Just make sure there's no grit on it. Take the, I'm certain it's Delrin rather than plastic. It looks like it anyway. It wouldn't have lasted this long if it was a plastic. Give it a little rinse. And then the same with the nozzle itself. I'm gonna clean the housing, just because I've cleaned everything out. Seems silly not to at this point. And that's it, I'm just gonna pat everything dry just so it's easy to put back together. I prefer not to have anything wet when it goes back in. Um, but I mean, a little bit of water isn't gonna hurt it. I'm gonna be uh, running water through it very, very shortly. Get to show off it's probably better with a, uh, a cloth and a, and a paper towel. And that's it, all there is to do now is to put it back together. So firstly, this washer just here goes back on at the end. Now, for me, whenever I have taken it apart, or the first time I took it apart, it was curved upwards, just like this. I don't think there's a reason for it. I think it's just the way mine sat, um, but that's always the way I've put it back on. So I'm just gonna pop it on like that. The next section, plastic goes straight on the top. Take your nozzle, sit that back in. It's easy to hold it in with a thumb. Take your tip and the outer casing, slide it in, and screw it up. And that is it, and you can see that the uh, the nozzle is right in the end there. Now, I'm not gonna do it too tight, 
purely because I like to be able to take them apart if I need to while I'm on jobs, but I'm just gonna grab the mole grips, just give them a tiny little tighten up. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Stick your sleeve in back on. One cleaned and sorted turbo nozzle. Now the best bit of advice I can give you if you are pressure washing is have a spare. So a job two days ago that I've just filmed and popped on uh, the channel under the pressure washing category is this turbo nozzle, which is my newer one, as you can see by how much nicer condition it is. Um, I went to use it and it was just firing a single pencil jet straight out and then it would turn around a little bit and stop, turn around a little bit and stop. So basically just had grit and dirt stuck in it. So that's how you clean that one. This thing I've had for two years now, I've battered it. It has a cable tie around it to keep the, uh, the housing on. It just doesn't stop. Um, I'm probably gonna clean it now off camera just to give it a little bit of love because it did save me the other day. But yeah, that's all there is to it. So uh, I hope that helped you guys. Um, appreciate you guys watching and uh, hopefully see you in another one. Thanks.